Let us see about the two transistor model of SCR. So this is the structure of a SCR. It has four layers and three junction. So this four layer can be split up into two parts so that you will get two transistors, a PNP transistor and an NPN transistor. So you can see that the gate is connected to both the transistors Q1 and Q2. So why do we do this uh, analysis is first thing to understand the operation of the SCR. Second thing you will learn why you are uh, applying a pulse as gate signal. The third thing is why gate signal is removed after SCR goes into conduction? So you can get the answers for these questions. So this is a basic transistor equation or basic things which you have learned in electronics. So this is a NPN transistor. So this is a PNP transistor. So NPN so this is N uh, P region. So if we give a positive gate, so this will conduct. So this is our basic transistor equation where alpha and beta are the current gain. So let us come to this uh, analysis of SCR. So this is the two transistor model. So now anode is here, cathode is here and gate here. So what is anode current? So anode current is here. So this is nothing but the emitter current of this transistor T1. And this is the collector current of transistor T1. And this is the base current of transistor 1. So it is a PNP transistor. So arrow current direction is this one. Now for second transistor, this is the base current and this is collector current and this is the cathode current. So that is equal to the emitter current. So now I have considered IG is equal to 0. So for transistor T1, what is the emitter current? It is nothing but the anode current. So what is base current? It is equal to the collector current of transistor T2. What is the collector current? This equation is seen in the previous slide. It is the normal off state equation of the transistor. So alpha times IE1 plus leakage current. Similarly for transistor T2, IE2 that is the emitter current is equal to cathode current. Base current is equal to this uh, collector current because IG equal to 0 and collector current is equal to this base current or you can write this same equation alpha 2 IE2 plus leakage current. So when you give IG gate current so this base current will be equal to this IG plus IC1. So this equation is valid only when IG is equal to 0. When you apply IG, IBT is equal to IC1 plus IG. So IEA is equal to IC1 plus IC2 and you substitute for IC1 and IC2 from the previous equations. Then second equation is IK is equal to IA plus IG. And if you solve all these equations, you will get this one. It is a simple calculation. So you will get this one. So here you have in denominator alpha 1 plus alpha 2. So this is the current gain. So the current gain of a transistor increases with emitter current. So if emitter current increases, alpha will increase. So when, when there is no gate current, so there is no base for this transistor. 
so if i give the gate current what happens this base gate current acts as a base for this transistor so current flows from collector to emitter so when there is a emitter current here alpha 2 will increase and there is a collector current so this collector current acts as a base for this transistor so this transistor will also contact now here emitter current will flow which increases the alpha 1 and collector current will also flow so this collector current plus gate current will act as a base for the this transistor so ib2 increases so which again increases this one and this one so now one loop of current will be flowing so this alpha 1 and alpha 2 will be increasing continuously and at one state it reaches 1 so when it reaches 1 this anode current becomes infinite meaning that scr has gone into conduction so now after scr gone into conduction even if you don't apply this um, gate current this will be in a loop this is called regeneration or positive feedback usually positive feedback will be applied in oscillators but here it scr will go into regeneration so current flows continuously even though gate is removed that's why it is called an latching device so points to remember here is so scr can be considered as two interconnected transistor so it is a latching device since you need um, gate signal for only a short period you can give a pulse type of gate signal and once scr goes into conduction gate has no control over it so you can remove the gate signal so that you can avoid uh, excess dissipation in that junction So if you like the video do subscribe to read electric vehicle channel thank you